What's up guys, it's a new spiel from AndroidRoots.com. Today we can go ahead and take a look at the Sony XL-Z1 ROM for your Nexus 4 device. And think of this ROM as basically a port from the Sony Xperia phone lineup onto your Nexus 4 device. Um, so in theory, kind of, you have a Sony device <laughs> on your Nexus 4 um, phone. Um, pretty darn neat. Um, so basically everything is ported over Z1 fonts, boot animation, keyboard, sounds, wallpapers, Walkman, albums, movies, alarm and clock, calculator, calendar, notes, sketch, um, task, even the theme and launcher is all here from the Sony Xperia lineup. Uh, pretty darn cool, so you're basically experiencing a Sony ROM on your Nexus 4 AOSP device. Um, so here we are, um, all the applications that are looked for Sony and all that, so let's go ahead and open up Walkman, and boom, there you go, there's the Sony Walkman right there, movies as well, videos. Um, right there as well, or actually album and then movies right there. I'm sorry, <laughs> the uh, text is kind of small. I'm kind of far away from the, uh, the phone as well. Um, so there you guys go. Also, this is the Sony launcher. So if we go and swipe from the uh, off the screen to the right, um, you also have this option to search apps, uninstall the owner, alphabetical, most used, and even get apps. So from the Play Store and also from Sony Select, you can go ahead and download applications to your Android device. So very very nice. Alarm clock is also Sony related. Everything is very, very nice. Let's go ahead and show you the actual keyboard. Um, so let's just go open up the keyboard and there is your Sony keyboard right there. Very, very nice guys. So if you really want a Sony device while actually buying an actual Sony device, go ahead and be sure to try out this ROM. Also everything, as you can see, the color, the text is very similar to a Sony device. Um, the icons are also changed up even within settings. The color, as you can see, is more of a gray than white or, you know, um, you know, white or black or something like that. It is grayed out like a Sony device. If you go and tap on settings, everything is basically themed up for a nice Sony look. Um, very, very similar to the actual Sony. Again, nice blue or actually white effect right there too. Um, you also have options, so basic customization RAM options as well. So you have themes, lock screen options right here, so slider shortcuts, custom widgets, if you want camera widget right there. Um, you have all those options. Also themes right there, you can get more from the Play Store, I believe. So you have your Sony Xperia Z theme, or if you don't feel like having that theme while still having the Sony Xperia applications and fonts and all that, you can go ahead and go back to your stock system look too. Very, very nice right there. Interface is as is here as, as well. So you have status bar, quick settings panel, notification, expanded desktop, uh, buttons layout and all that. So if you can go and change the functionality of what the buttons do, you can go and do that. Um, even quick, quick launch shortcuts. And yes, Google now is, is even available here too. So that is it, guys. That is the Sony Xperia XL Z1 ROM for the Nexus 4. Basically, everything that you can actually think of that's included in a Sony Xperia phone on your very own Nexus 4 device. Um, and also, let me go and show you the actual launcher and then wallpapers that are actually included with this one. So we're going to tap on wallpapers right here. And you get a bunch of these. So let me go and show you this these wallpapers. Um, so you get a bunch of these Sony wallpapers right here. So you have album and then wallpaper, or live wallpapers as well if you want to go and choose that. Um, so you have a ton of these. So th these are actually really, really nice. These color ones, I really like them. I'm a fan of them. Um, as you can see, you get a bunch of Sony wallpapers as well. So if you really want to make your phone a Sony device, you can have the wallpapers to prove it. <laughs> or actually fake prove it, I guess. Uh, we can actually tap on the purple one and see how that one looks. Um, so that one looks fantastic on this Nexus 4 device. Um, so that is it, guys. That is the ROM review, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And then bottom left-hand corner right there and down below in the comment section. Um, and also, if you can go ahead and download this ROM for your Nexus 4 device, the link is down below in the video description. And don't forget, to, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, which is also located down below in the video description. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.